Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Michelle. I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline based in San Francisco, California. I vlog about my trips and I do my best to take you guys with me. So tomorrow we have an exciting international trip. We are going to Sydney, Australia. I am so excited about it. Um, I have been to Sydney before a few times actually, but the last time I worked it was over a year ago and I am really excited to go back. I really like Australia. I've been there um, a little small handful of times and every single time I've had a really good time there. I just wanted to open up this vlog, say hi, and I'm excited to take you all with me to Australia. Um, that's all for now, but I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Hi everyone, um, it is 8.31 here in SFO. I am in the employee lot already. We are here with plenty of time to spare. My check-in is not until 9.35, but um, I am so excited for this trip to Sydney. Uh, I am working meal cart aisle in the back so I will be in economy um, passing out meals. We are on the 777X which is our biggest plane. It's the 777-300. Um, so it has a lot of people back, almost 300 people uh, capacity in economy. However, we are very, very empty today, which is incredible. I think we have like 200 seats available out of like almost 300 so we have everyone's gonna have so much space it's gonna be i mean i don't want to jinx myself but it's gonna be a great flight i think i think everyone will be very comfortable and the workload will be pretty easy for us i hope i hope i think but of course i will um tell you all how the vlog goes afterwards i am really excited though i don't know anyone on this crew actually that's a lie the purser is was my purser on my brisbane vlog if you i don't really know him that well i just know that i flew with him before and he was a great purser um if you haven't watched my brisbane vlog definitely watch it it's one of my favorite vlogs i've made it was one of my favorite trips ever, probably my best trip of 2023. So I will put that up here and down below if you have not seen that yet. I'm going to put my scarf on, put my blazer on, and we will head inside. Hey everyone, we have made it to Sydney. Um, the flight over here was great. We did have to hold for a little bit in San Francisco and then hold for a little bit above um, Sydney before landing. But other than that, everything was really normal. We had some turbulence in the beginning, but nothing crazy. The flight over it was so, so, so easy. We had a lot of empty seats. So it was really, really um, chill. Everybody had like their own row they could relax in. Everyone slept the whole time. Everyone was really nice. So we had, yeah, no issues. It was so nice. And now we're here. It is 10.38. Um, I actually have a very fun layover planned. I am so, so, so excited. Um, I usually am kind of like, oh, let's get there and we'll, we'll see what we want to do. But this time I had a plan and a vision. Um, I want to do, I've never been to Bondi Beach. So we are going to go down to Bondi Beach, but we are going to do, there's a famous walk. It's the Kuji Beach to Bondi Beach Coastal Walk. And um, it just goes through the coast and it is a couple miles. I want to say it's like five miles or something. Um, and you get to see a bunch of different really pretty sites. And I am so excited to do it i'm gonna go with one of my crew members maybe two but for sure one of my crew members and we're gonna do that walk and i'm so excited about that um but we're meeting up in about 20 minutes so i'm just going to um kind of refresh a little bit get my face together a little bit take a little body shower um unpack a little bit and then we're gonna meet up um it is summer here for 
for Australia because we're in the southern hemisphere. So um, it's going to be really warm today. I think it's going to be 87 degrees is going to be the high. And yeah, I'm just excited to see the beach and to do the walk. I want to see the Bondi icebergs and I'm just excited. So um, I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to turn on the air conditioning because I am sweating in this room. And then, yeah, I can't wait to take you guys with me. We started off by meeting in the lobby and we took an Uber down to Kuji Beach. Our first priority was to get some caffeine because we had been up working all night. So we went to this really cool restaurant. We sat at the third floor, which was outdoors, and we got a flat white. We could just enjoy the view outside at the beach. Then we started our walk. You can go both directions from Kuji to Bondi Beach or Bondi to Kuji Beach. We started off in Kuji. It was such a beautiful walk. You got so many views of the ocean because you were just walking along the coast. Here is a map of what the actual walk was. You can kind of see where we went. This was a cool part of the beach where it was kind of carved out to be like a large swimming pool. It was a little bit more protected from the waves. And here's an actual swimming pool that was built into the concrete. And then this was my favorite part of the walk. It was a huge cemetery that overlooked the Tasman Sea. The cemetery was called Waverly Cemetery. It was so cool to see all the different tombstones. And there were just honestly so many of them. It was mind blowing to me. And then this is the cemetery from the other side after walking a little bit more. This whole time I was just chatting with my crew member. We got along so well and I'm so glad that we got to do this walk together. We just talked the whole time about everything, about everything from our marriages to our families to work to travels to honestly everything. And while we were almost done with the walk, we took a little bit of a break to enjoy the beautiful water. It was absolutely stunning. And then we finally got to Bondi Beach. These are the famous Bondi icebergs that I have seen all over social media. I am so glad I finally got to see it for myself. And we finally ended our walk at Bondi Beach. It was beautiful. And then we got kind of hungry. So we decided to get some light, late lunch at a seafood restaurant. It was delicious. After lunch, we took another Uber back to the Opera House area where we met up with some of our crew members. It was actually our purser's birthday, so we celebrated him by getting a little drink together and then we took the ferry back to the hotel area. This was my first time on a ferry in Sydney and I loved it. I thought it was so fun to see the different sights from a different point of view. And then the, we also saw this amusement park, which I think this space is so creepy, so I wanted to get a shot of that. Once we got off the ferry, I went to go to the grocery store on my own. I wanted to get some stuff from Kohl's before I turned in for the night, so I just walked over and did some shopping there. Hey everyone, we are back in the room. It is 7.15 p.m. which means we were walking around for eight hours and um, I had first break too. So I honestly haven't slept in forever. I am about to crash. I am getting so tired, but I had an amazing time today. Today was honestly, I feel like one of my ideal type of layovers. My favorite way to explore a city is through walking. And I feel like we got to walk so much. I love the coastal walk from Kuji Beach to Bondi Beach. Um, I feel like I got to see so much of like the beautiful beaches and just the land. And obviously like I only saw a little bit of Australia and the Sydney beaches, but it was absolutely beautiful and I loved it. And then we also got to like meet up with the crew, hang out and get some drinks with the crew, eat some good food. So I am just so grateful. Like it was such a good mix of exploring and then just like having good conversation and good quality time with people. So honestly, 10 out of 10 day, I loved it. I really, really loved it. So we are 19 hours ahead. So it is currently 12, 18 a.m. in San Francisco. So it's definitely bedtime and I'm definitely feeling it. Um, I went to the grocery store, I went to Kohl's and I just bought a few things. I'll probably, 
I probably will go back again tomorrow morning. We'll see um, and, to, and buy some more. I usually, because of the time change, wake up very early in Australia. So I have a feeling I probably will do that again. And our pickup's not until 11.55 a.m. So we have a good amount in the morning. So I'll probably um, just like walk around, probably get some coffee or breakfast or something like that and try to make the most of my morning. Um, but yeah, I am just so happy. I am exhausted though. I cannot believe that I had like just such a beautiful, beautiful day here. The weather was amazing. I love that it's summertime here and I love like, I, I've said it before, but I love the long days and like it's so great. It's still so bright outside and it's already 7.15 p.m. You guys, every time I've come to Australia, I've just had such a good time. I, I feel so lucky. This is my view, I never showed you. It's actually really similar to my view last time I was here. So cute, so quaint. Good morning everyone from Sydney, it is 8 a.m. I slept okay, I definitely, I think I fell asleep pretty early, probably around 8.30 or 9, and then I had woken up at midnight, um, I was able to go back to pack to sleep, and then I woke up every couple hours, but I probably slept until around 5 a.m., um, and I've just been hanging out in bed, um, eating some of the snacks I bought yesterday, and that's pretty much it. Um, but I'm going to go out for breakfast. I think there's a little cafe I want to check out. I want to get another coffee. Um, the flat whites in Australia just are so, so, so good. And I just love the coffee culture here. So I'll do that and just get some steps in, walk around a little bit. I might go back to the grocery store. I'm not really sure. I still have some food, but I think I wanted to get something for the flight home. Um, but yeah. That is it for now. Um, I'm just gonna get ready, brush my teeth, change, and then uh, we'll head out there. I'm dressed, I am ready. We are gonna go walk to the cafe. I think it's about a 18 minute walk away or something like that. I am carrying my new um, Uniqlo bag that I bought um, in Seoul. Uh, I'll link the vlog up here if you have not seen that already. But I really like it because I am going to bring my new book that I just started reading. Just started reading this. I bought this from the Friends of the Library bookstore um, in the Bay. But this bag fits my book in it, which is so nice. So I'm going to read this at the cafe while I eat my breakfast and sip on some coffee. Hey everyone, back in the room. Um, juice I'm drinking right now is this Quencher Raspberry, it is called. I bought it from Kohl's. It's really just water, raspberry juice, and lemon juice. It is so refreshing. Um, but my morning was lovely. I just went for a little walk. It was actually kind of hot out though, even though it's the morning, like right now, it's 81 degrees and it's only 10.30 a.m. But um, I went to a little cafe bakery. I got some um, breakfast. I had a flat white, which so good, absolutely divine. And I don't think I will ever get sick of them here. And then I just read my book, relaxed there for a little. And then I went to Kohl's, just bought a few things for the flight back home um, so I could have some food to eat. And then yeah, it's 10.30, back with perfect time to like rest, decompress before I have to get ready, 
pickup time is at 11.55 a.m. Okay, I just, I love this layover. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, y'all, well, it is 11.40 a.m. My pickup is 11.55, so I'm gonna head down in just a minute. We are already all packed up and uh, ready to work this flight back. I um, am so sad to be leaving beautiful Sydney, um, but we have a very very light load going back to sfo we had such like the craziest light load coming here we have an even lighter load we have even less passengers going back to sfo i'm not really sure why what's going on i think it's like a lull in between like right after christmas um so it's like a slower season for travel um and i yeah so i'm not sure why it's so light but it's gonna be really really empty so people should be able to spread out it's like almost like it's back to like covid time for flying um people should have a lot of space everyone should be really happy uh i don't think i said this when i got it i don't remember if i said this but my crew is so great like we are just having so much fun i really really like the people i'm working with and i had so much fun like yesterday hanging out with everybody and it's just it's good vibes all around um, but our flight should be a little bit shorter going back to San Francisco. It's probably going to be 13 hours, maybe 14 hours, something like that. Um, so yeah, should be good. I am uh, ready to work the flight. Same thing, 777-300 um, on meal car aisle. And that's that. Hey everyone, I'm just coming on here to close the video out. Uh, the flight back was great. It was so easy, so smooth. Um, we had so few people, so they were able to spread out and pretty much sleep the whole time. Um, I thought it was going to be boring because I was like, our service is going to go by fast, but it's still such a long flight. How are we going to pass the time? But my crew made it so easy. I got along with my crew so well. I am so, so, so thankful that they were with me on this flight because I felt like the time went by super fast. And I just really loved this whole trip. It was one of my favorites just because I feel like I got to hang out with my crew. I got to see new, um, I love to walk. We got to do that coastal walk. It was awesome. Celebrate um, someone's birthday and the flights were easy. It was wonderful. And that is it for now. I am excited because I have some really exciting vlogs coming up for you. Um, I just can't wait. So make sure you stay tuned to see those. My um, Instagram is dear underscore Michelle. I will write it down here. Please give me a follow if you would like to. Um, I do post more up to date and regularly on my Instagram. My YouTube videos do take a couple weeks to film and edit and everything like that. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe you can leave a comment down below and say hi I try to respond to all of them but yeah I am so grateful for you guys and I will talk to you in my next one